Ladies and gentlemen, these two warriors now step into the ring to go toe to toe in the others' proving ground. As ladies and gentlemen, Chandler Arena. This is a main event. Ladies and gentlemen, the trilogy, the war to settle the score. Ladies and gentlemen, Chandler Arena, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Five out three rounds, full time rolls to apply. 72 and a half kilogram, one division. Introducing first of our right. Fighting in the blue corner, trained by Aaron Smith from Corporate Box. Official weight, 72.29 kilograms. Tonight, we're in pink shots with white cream. Standing five feet 11 inches tall. The former WMC interim world champion. And a six-time Australian champion. 134 fights, 88 victories, 39 by way of knockout. Introducing Bruce Pritchard and the president fighting in the red corner, trained by Dino Saki and Daniel Jones from the Moon Shoe Gymnasium. Official weight 72.49 kilograms. Tonight wearing all the light shorts, standing five feet nine inches tall, fighting out of the Gold Coast. The six-time world champion, 106 fights, 76 victories, one draw, 35 by way of knockout. Introducing the gunslinger, John Wayne. John Wayne Parr and Bruce the Preacher McTee for the Evolution Middleweight title. A calm before the storm, a look in the eye of both men that I see confidence and I see a little bit of familiarity. They know what to expect. They know what's coming. Well, it's uh, a very unique circumstance here, Andy, where if, uh, both men been in the sport a long time. They've been in, they've been in the contender house together. They know each other quite well. There's, uh, there's a bit of rivalry. There's a bit of friendship. There's a bit of uh, a whole lot of mixed emotions uh, coming into this one. And uh, it's going to be an interesting affair no matter what. See, uh, Preacher just coming forward. This bout... Indeed, sponsored by our main sponsor, Suvalaki Hut. And a big thanks to uh, Chris and Harry from Suvalaki Hut. Of course, uh, a national franchise getting behind the Evolution events. It's fantastic again from them. It is John Wayne Parr in the black, in the pink or the red, if you like. The preacher, Bruce McPhee, who is 0-2 against Australia's finest. Outside leg kick blocked partially by the preacher. Both boys have ventured at different stages throughout their career into the world of professional boxing. John Wayne, a former Australian middleweight champion, also campaign, campaigned at junior middleweight and super middleweight. In recent years, we've seen Bruce McPhee uh, take, oh, the dark side, if you like, the step over two, and just more so than competing as a boxer, trying to hone his skills and, and perfect his skills in a stand-up situation. I think... Uh you know, they need to keep uh, getting fights to keep busy and, uh, yeah, sharpen the hand skills. Of course, John Wayne Parr works out with uh, a fighter that I really rate in the boxing arena, Les Sherrington. I think yep. uh, he's a very good uh, tradesman in the boxing area, Sherrington, and uh, JW does a, a few rounds with him. McPhee, well, he'll box on with anyone. He uh, actually going uh, back a little while. Even uh, sparred with uh, good mate Danny Green. So I uh, made the uh, the trip over to, uh, to to spend some time with Danny and uh, do some hand sparring with Danny. So, yeah, and a big shout out to uh, the Green Machine, Danny Green. We uh, we know he always uh, tunes in and uh, supports the fights. And uh, 
is a bit of a fan of, of both these guys. So a uh, big yep. shout-out to you, Greeny. Yeah, who is, of course, planning on taking BJ Flores on in Perth in mid-November. You can see all the action on Main Event TV and also Fox Sports venues. More importantly, more immediately, though, they move into a clinch situation. No one really able to gain an advantage there. John Wayne Parr and Bruce McPhee. Nice kick to the body. Already a little red, a little pink on the right side of the rib cage of the Preacher. Straight right hand from JWP. Uh, John Wayne just probing with the push kick, wrapping uh, around the thigh kick. Preacher coming forward. Good uh, mobile movement from Preacher up on the balls of his feet. He changes angles and uh, changes attack styles very uh, often and rapidly in his his fights. John Wayne in turn will prop uh, will prop on his back leg and use his push his lead push kick a lot and uh, the round kick to the rib cage also. So they've got to score all of that. Pushing the pace forward, John Wayne Preacher. Just uh, a very even uh, first round, maybe just John Wayne. It's, uh, it's an ring, interesting affair. More ring generalship from John Wayne Park. Does that edge him the opening round? Um, yeah, perhaps. I think uh, Preacher was aggressive. There was a, the uh, short right hand taken on the gloves, the uh, the hook trip by, uh, by Preacher. Short right hand from Preacher in turn. JW just smiles at it. No smile on that face in the corner at the moment from the champ. If you're sitting at home, uh, score this one yourselves, guys. The overhand right, short right from John Wayne initiating. And again, you've got to pay aggression. Round kick to the body from John Wayne off the lead. Up high, barreling forward, as he's renowned for doing just rapid fire hand combination. Very small window of opportunity for that right elbow in the closing shot of our highlights there. And JW just pulled up a little short. It's one thing uh, I asked Bruce actually off camera. He said, uh, you know, he's renowned for being a full tie boxer and having many, many fights, obviously full tie rules. He doesn't elbow nearly as, as much as I would uh, like to see McPhee. His fights really turn into kickboxing fights. The, uh, and uh, the rationale was for that was, uh, I just forget. So, <laughs> you know, that's Bruce is a straight talker and he'll, uh, he'll say it as it is. But uh, not one a lot of, of elbow play. Yeah, straight talker and one of the real showmen and highlight now. reels of Australian kickboxing and Muay Thai. The preacher, Bruce McPhee, who is looking to change history here tonight. 0 and 2 against the legend. Come on, John. Who accepts all challenges. That has been John Wayne's pa pa's career since day dot. Nice push kick, John Wayne. Just keeping Preacher at bay. And, the, and round kick to the body as well. And John Wayne just really uh, utilising the very basic bread and butter techniques, but the ones that, uh, as a complete fighter, you want to draw to, especially in a pressure sit uh, situation as is happening right now. Very cautious start to the fight for both guys, considering they've been there done it twice before I thought it may have been just a little more open a little more aggressive in the opening of this one well neither neither man really wants to make a silly mistake either Andy they want to both make sure that they're, they're very calculating in their attacks and they don't lose this one or get an eight count because of, of leaving an opening beautiful jump yeah. there, John Wayne Parr it was and he set it up beautifully with some body shots some good hand work and the jumping knee almost right through the stern of Bruce McPhee Back into centre ring they go. Outside thigh kick, McPhee. Just catching uh, JW on the back foot. Front kick, push kick, if you like. Just keeping the preacher at bay. John Wayne Parr didn't want to be pushed into the corner there. He comes flying out with hands, then an elbow that McPhee almost smirks at. The elbow certainly taken on the gloves. A couple of hand strikes and uh, you've got to pay the aggression. Overhand right, John Wayne Parr getting through. McPhee, beautiful mobile footwork, not being a sitting target. Both Jet. men, because of their boxing training, very good side to side, using it effectively as a defence mechanism too, not just using the forearms and the gloves. With that beautiful round kick. John Wayne just uh, using that lead round kick to the, uh, to the ribcage of McPhee. Probably not powering up full power, but still getting the shot in to the ribcage of McPhee. Inside thigh, McPhee trying to go with a head attack. Yeah, it was a nice inside thigh kick from John Wayne Parr. Back against the ropes. Now they're center ring, trying with a crossing right. Receipt is a mirror punch there from Bruce McPhee. 
Body kick hand combination, John Wayne Parr. Good evasive work up uh, upstairs from JW. Gee, a spring in the step of Bruce McPhee. He is confident. Uh, for mine, definitely, uh, I'll say uh, John Wayne. Look at the jumping knee. Pop goes to the, uh, the jumping knee. Taken on the guard, but still uh, you've got to pay the aggression. Next up, the third round, and that was literally the deciding round when they met in November 06, Hammer. It's been a while, and certainly both uh, both men have well matured and uh, been around and done a lot since then. OK, Hammer, they have matured, I agree. Have they changed in four years? Um, I'd have to say they, they probably have, as you said, probably better hand skills for one. They're sharper with their hand defences, definitely not wearing as much as, uh, as they used to in the younger years. And look at that good evasive skill from Wayne. Drying off the feet, John Wayne Parr. Back out into centering round three of five. We would have it no differently over 15 minutes. These two in the trilogy. Parr with the right hand. Had the opportunity of the right elbow as well. Strikes with that right on the back of a high Ooh. knee from the preacher who comes forth, then calls it on. Well, certainly the preacher. Uh, the more shots he lands, the more his confidence will grow in this one. And it's certainly uh, turning out to be a very interesting affair. The timing of that push kick from John Wayne Parr hasn't been lost on me. Really uses it effectively. Well, the, the push kick is really uh, the kickboxer's jab. So if you, if you were scoring this boxing style, I suppose every time uh, uh, in a close boxing fight, the jabs that get through, you've got to score them. While well, you push kick to the midsection, doesn't matter if it's powered up upon or not. If it's landing cleanly and it's it's setting the opponent back or, or stopping their, their uh, flow, you've got to score that push kick to the lead body. It was a nice inside thigh kick from Bruce McPhee, who is now back against uh, the ropes. And oh, oh, that's takes pretty. one of his own. Well, a slip there as well. And, you, and Bruce the Preacher McPhee, big crowd support. Uh, certainly a lot of people are getting behind the Preacher for this one. Brisbane boy, obviously, John Wayne Parr made the trip from the Goldie and uh, brought his army of fans with him. But uh, the preacher has brought the local Bris Vegas crowd here to, uh, to will him on as well. So the crowd almost 50-50 split. Six-time world champion in the black trunks. A six-time national champion in the red or the pig trunks, if you like. John Wayne just getting a few good body kicks in on preacher. Ivor dominated the back end of that Again. exchange. Bruce McPhee. Again, the push kick. JW really working, got the uh, the work rate up off that lead leg. You'll see him as soon as uh, Preacher comes forward, he's either uh, push kicking him back or uh, switch kicking to the rib cage. As, as McPhee throws the right hand, if you throw your right hand, the right, right side of your rib cage becomes open and expanded. And uh, therefore, if you get that left leg up, you'll hit that rib cage nicely like that. John Wayne getting that kick through. McPhee looking to land the heavy punches. McPhee with the right hand, just missed the target. Throwing beautiful punches in bunches, and it is troubling JWP. They reset part of the midsection with that left leg. And again. Again, push kick, round kick. Back to the round kick, John Wayne. Preacher, preacher heavy on the hands. John Wayne heavy with the kicks. Up. Again, the push kick from Park, giving himself some distance. McPhee closing in at the end of round number three, and once again, both hands go up. Yeah, I'd have to say, uh, JW got uh, a couple of good body kicks in, in there on McPhee. Used the push kick to great effect. McPhee in turn, step up, jumping knee. Was, uh, was not clean to the body, but uh, still, again, as earlier, you've got to pay the aggression. Nice right hand, McPhee. Calls on John Wayne Parr. Shows him no respect at all. He's doing a lot of smiling in this one, Bruce McPhee. He is comfortable. He's loving it, the preacher. He's a big occasion fighter. And uh, with the crowd behind him, have a look at that short left. Just uh, momentarily sends uh, John Wayne Never back realizing. and almost down. Your hands. That's it. I need your hands to be here. Punch from a real strong guard. Aaron Smith in the corner there of Bruce McPhee. As always from Corporate Box as we take a look at some of the highlights from the previous round.
Beautiful short left there. McPhee, but uh, John Wayne certainly busy with the kicks also in that round. The body kicks, I'd say, and uh, tie boxing. You've got to score the takedowns very highly. Knees and elbows, then kicks, and of course, your last uh, scoring technique is punches. So a kick will always outscore a punch every day of the week. And a combination of the two from John Wayne Parr, replicated almost immediately by McPhee. McPhee, good guard, good guard, and uh, he's, he is blocking a lot. Wayne Parr in for the body kick. McPhee rallies back on the front foot, chops low. Real thinking men's fighters, these two have matured and developed into. They both built their career on being big stones, all heart fighters. They've matured into general and genuine tacticians, students of the game, and they're thinking men's fighters. Just have a look at John Wayne. He's, he throws a right hand and then brings the left leg around straight off it. Probably not trying for the, uh, for the big power shots. In, instead looking uh, for combinations and... Uh, just work rate. More of a tradesman-like effort from John Wayne, this one. McPhee, oh, getting caught with, a sh with the overhand right from John Wayne. McPhee looking to, uh, to create an opening or find an opening, getting caught with a low kick, body kick, John Wayne. Jumping knee, McPhee, good attempt. Low percentage, but good attempt from the preacher who takes one on the mush, gives one back. Oh. That was nice work from Parr. Again, variation the key. I don't think we've seen the controlled aggression from either man that we saw in the first two fights. No, they, look, a real game of strategy. Sometimes you just got to throw caution to the wind and go bombing. And again, you know, elbows, the full Muay Thai rules. We haven't seen a lot of clinching. We haven't seen a lot of knees, apart from a few of those glancing, jumping knees, and certainly uh, no elbows to speak of. So uh, they may come in the uh, in the latter rounds. Well, as we uh, as we tick to the to the finish line anyway. Into the clinch there, but no opportunity as Parr lands and scores with a straight right hand. A left lead jab there, rocking the head back of the I'm preacher. I'm surprised that uh, McPhee is getting caught with that body kick off the lead leg. I'm surprised he hasn't actually uh, attempted to catch it because uh, there's a good catch and takedown opportunity there. If he catches that left leg of Wayne and then throws his right low round kick, he may even be able to take uh, Wayne down. But uh, at this point, he's just letting it land on the body. A couple of scoring punches there for John Wayne Parr. Caught the attention of Bruce McPhee, who fires back with the gunslinger back against the ropes. Goes searching with that left leg for the outside thigh kick and the push kick. A couple of times from John Wayne Parr, who's effectively used the push kick onto that lead knee of Bruce McPhee several times throughout the latter stages of yeah. this fight Ooh. so far. Straight right hand just coming over the guard of McPhee. But uh, very tough and resilient Bruce McPhee to McPhee. But John Wayne Parr, just accurate and work rate. Certainly uh, putting down some scoring on his side. McPhee chopping low, and those were the chopping low kicks that stopped Eli Madigan in McPhee's last fight. Overhand right, John Wayne landed nicely. And again, the smile appears on the dial of the preacher, Bruce McPhee. How are you scoring this at home? Who do you have on top? Because we've got just one more round remaining. It is for... The Evolution middleweight title between two men that will be remembered for many years in Australian Muay Thai as two of our very finest in any division. Look at that all short right. Doubled up on the uh, on the overhand right, John Wayne. First one guarded, second one catching. The beauty and the brawn, that is Evolution. Round number five, the final one here. Well, this one uh, also going down closer to the finish line. Has McPhee got enough left in the tank to, uh, to put it on John Wayne Parr? John Wayne Parr has fought the safe fight, Andy, and uh, racked up some good points. McPhee needs to rally back. Has John Wayne been too conservative in his, in his approach? Well, he's fighting a real uh, strategic fight. McPhee straight punching now. Yeah, good John. hand exchange from the two. John Wayne trying a one, once again, just using that push kick as a, as a barrier to McPhee's forward movement. 
Referee hasn't been involved too often in this one. It's been sorted out by the combatants, Parr and McPhee. Mark Tease, of yeah. course, from the Strike Force, Jim. A good man to have in centre ring, a very experienced centre referee, keeping good control of this fight. Nice work up the top from Parr. Good work down low, a different level, but the feet belong to McPhee. Straight left from the six-time world champion. Tries to attack the body with a, a left rip. Push kicking off again. Listen to the crowd lifting. Emotion is coming to this fight now. Deep well, into the fifth and final round. And that, that's why you've got to love the Queensland crowd, Randy. They're right behind the fighters. They love the events. They've got a, a fine appreciation for each shot that's thrown. And, uh, you know, you'll always uh, always be rallied and uh, risen when you, uh, when you get the Queensland behind, behind you. McVie going for something just a little different. Perhaps more variation from the preacher who says to JWP, you didn't hurt me again. Well, look at John Wayne just uh, really loading up on the left and right. He doesn't just pop off that jab. He really loads that left hand and then brings it through right, left style. I love that three-shot combination of par. Left hand, right hand, left body kick. Preacher again pushing oh, forward. Boys, you know what? He's nothing but aggressive, the Preacher. Just uh, keeping that right on John Wayne. He's not scared to uh, walk through the attacks and uh, let his punches fly. John Wayne Parr said in the pre-fight interview, my position at the top of the ladder is a position hammer. I don't want to give up just yet. But I know Bruce McPhee wants to climb that next step. Well, Has he? One and two rated respectively in the national uh, IK rankings. And that's certainly uh, Bruce and John Wayne are making a real fight of this one. Fifth and final round. It's right down to the finish line. A shot for oh, shot now. Oh, McPhee! Spinning back fist. Spinning back fist. John Wayne Slash rallies. elbow as Parr fights oh, back. Then rocks McPhee! Momentum shifting by the second in the fifth and final round. The bell sounds. Both men put their hands in the air. Wow. But there can only be one winner. What a fight. What a finish. And uh, two of the best middleweights in the land have certainly entertained us here tonight. McPhee chopping low, Wayne going high. Just power from the upper body, John Wayne. But McPhee showing he's got a, a lot of heart and a lot left. Set for the spinning back fist. There it goes, pop. Wayne guarded it, five straight back. Barreled McPhee back into that neutral corner. What a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. It is a split decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Blue Corner! The guys from Samoa have the Bruce to present the.